Hello, Copic in the Craft Room fans. It is Michelle Houghton here, and we are going to be, I am going to be coloring up an art impression stamp today um, with three kind of grouchy old guys. This is called Old Guys Club, and I felt like timely for a Father's Day card, possibly. And I am actually on my way to visit. Um, my father, as well as two men who were good family friends and might as well have been fathers as much time as I spent at their homes. And so in honor of those three gentlemen, this is for you guys. So um, I'm going to zoom in. I really haven't picked any colors yet. So you're going to see me doing some, um, probably some scribbling either here or I have a spare sitting nearby. And so I'm going to be doing some scribbling and testing as I go. This is a fairly large image. There's a lot going on. So I'm not sure if I will complete the card or if I'll just show you a photo at the end. Um, but I may not videotape that card making just because of I know this is going to take some time with all that stuff going on. All right. So we will zoom in, speed up, and get us going. So I'm going to start with all their skin, and this first one's going to be fairly light. I'm starting with an R000, getting all those skin areas, and then coming back with an R01 to add some shading. My light source is going to be coming in from that right-hand side, so you can kind of watch that happen. R000 to soften that up. Y R quadruple zero, so four zeros on this guy, getting those light skin tones and why are double zero for the shading on this one. I'm trying to come in around that left side of their face, some of that contouring. E11 is for the third man and I'm getting his hands. He's got a little area above his socks. And E33 is going to be that next color. Um, I did hit his eye just accidentally with that E11. So I am going to come back a little bit later with the colorless blender. Going back to blend that out, E11, and I realized I hadn't hit the arms of the middle guy, so I'm coming back and finishing that up, doing a little softening on the, on the third man as well. Next is B41, and I'm going to try to hit several areas at once. So I'm getting the pants on the guy to the far left and his hat, and then I'm going to get the shirt or sweater on the guy at the far right. So when I do a complicated image like this, I always try to kind of multitask and get several areas done at once. B91 is going to be my mid-tone, and a lot of these areas, or some of these areas, are just going to have the two colors. But then I am going to come back with a B95, really hit some of those shadow areas. And I soften this up. I go ahead and backtrack all the way to B41. It doesn't soften all the way, so I add a little more B91. And then I come back in with a B4-5 for some really deep shadows in the creases of that first guy's pants. Colorless blender on the eyes to open those back up. G2-1 is on the middle guy's shirt. Going to add some green in the shot. And his hat too. And then G2-4 is going to add the shading. He's pretty round, so I'm kind of creating a sphere-like shape out of his body. G21 to smooth that out, and I forgot a sock, so a little bit of G24 and G21 down there. Um, I'm playing around on the side with some colors. Now I'm going for a khaki on the pants and the hat of the far far right, and so I was trying to kind of play around with which colors I liked best for that combination. E50 is what I'm going to start with. I'm going to get the pants and the hat, and then E53 is going to be some of that mid-tone, and a little tiny bit of that E55. Really just a light khaki. It'd kind of get a little bit of speckling on the hat so it looks a little more textured. E53 to smooth the pants out. E55 to hit some of those darker areas. And E50 to smooth out all the way to the highlight. Hitting a few of the shoes with an E31. E33 for some shading. On that far one, I guess I could have done those like all-stars um, converse, but I chose to do them more like loafers. E35 is coming in for some darker shading. And then E37 is hitting the soles of the shoe on this middle character. It's also hitting the cane to the far left. Looking for some more colors. BV23 is going to go on the pants in the middle. And BV25 to add some shading little BV20 to kind of brighten up those highlights and of course hit some socks just for fun the far right 
And then BV20 is also going to be the shirt on the gentleman to the far left. A little bit of shading with BV23. Notice on a lot of this stuff today, I'm only using two markers and they're part of natural blending groups. So really, I've kept it really simple. Two to three colors, mostly in natural blending groups. Smooth that out with a BV20. C1 just to add some touches to those areas that are like the white shirts, collars, and socks. C7 to the tip of the cane, and then C5 to what I assume is kind of a metal portion of that bench. And then I'm going in with E21 for the actual bench that they're sitting on, kind of the wood slats. Then I'm using E25. I'm going to create some texture, and then I'm going to soften it with the E21 so it looks a little bit like wood. That's the goal, at least. And then I start on this background. Um, I've got YG03 starting, and unfortunately my video is getting a little dark. I'm going to explain that here in a second, but I'm losing my light. Um, but I fill that whole area in. Notice it's not totally smooth, that YG03. It's okay because I'm going to come back in and add a texture with my second color. YG63, even though you can't see the cap at this point, is coming in. And I'm using a loose scribble at this point, kind of sketchy back and forth, big scribble to kind of create that texture of grass. So I have lost light. Um, and so I'm hoping as I come back and watch this, this is not too bad. Um, what I'm going to be doing is adding a sky with BG um, 000 and Colorless Blender. And I'm going to put this guy on a card and I will add that finished look at the end of the video. So you're going to see that in a second. In the meantime, thank you so much for joining me this week, and I hope you have something prepped for a dad in your life, whether it's a friend or a husband um, or your own dad, and um, wish him a happy Father's Day, no matter what you've chosen. Um, thank you, as always, for joining me this week. If you have not had a chance to do so, please go ahead and like our channel. We are shooting to get a few more members here, or followers here, getting to that 10,000 member mark. And um, you could be a part of that. Also, make sure to like this video and then share um, underneath in the comment section. I always try to respond pretty quickly on those. And if you've got questions or requests for future videos, I will get on it fast. Thanks so much for joining me this week. Have a happy, colorful week. Well, I managed to get the sky added and I figured I still had time to add this portion for you. It's really simple. I'm just trimming this card down to a square and then I'm adding two colors of pattern paper or two styles of pattern paper. I've got kind of a, a graphic kind of dark gray one and then a green. I'm going to layer that onto my card base and round some corners and call it good. Again, thanks so much for joining me this week and I really do hope you have a happy colorful week.